Now we shall move on to the Umalnar Islands, which is the second important archaeological site in the Emirate of Abu Dhabi in UAE. Now Umalnar Islands is one of the important islands in Abu Dhabi. Unlike the beehive cemeteries which were found in Hafid Mountains, in Umalnar Islands the cemeteries were of a circular shape. See to my left you can see this is the kind of symmetries which are found in the Umalna site and these are circular isn't it this is not like the beehive tombs which we found in Jabal Hafid area this is kind of a circular okay and to this side what you see is the location of the Umalna islands on the map of UAE in the Emirate of Abu Dhabi okay so uh, and here the findings uh, the the artifacts which have been discovered from this site have helped to illuminate the culture and lifestyle of the Bronze Age inhabitants of the United Arab Emirates. At that time, uh, the bronze, the metal um, artifacts discovered from this site gave insight into the lifestyle of the or lifestyle and the culture of the inhabitants of that time. Okay. Now, if you look into the architecture of the tombs, you can see that the uh, the cemetery comprises above ground tombs that is a word for that above ground means uh, later when we discuss about other archaeological sites in other emirates you will get to know that some tombs were also like underground okay so underground tombs are also there okay so that is a key word in this uh, the cemeteries of Umalnar islands are above ground tombs okay now these are in circular in shape we already told that and they range in diameter from 6 to 12 meters say so these are actually bigger than the Hafid tombs right yeah uh, and also another thing to note here is they are several meters high and are divided into chambers which are accessed through small small entrances and each of these chamber was designed to contain several bodies so if you if you find out more about the Somalna tombs you can read that almost some hundreds of bodies were found in a single tomb okay and uh, another thing is the tombs were constructed using dressed stones if you have noted that here you can see that uh, unlike the tombs of the rough stones used um, in the Hafid tombs in the Umalna tombs see see the stones are polished they are made smooth right that's why they are known as dressed stones dressed stones means a stone that has been worked to a desired shape or which has been made smooth or polished okay yeah that's the difference okay now if you look at the burial artifacts of the Umalna tombs you can see that several artifacts including necklaces jewelry and uh, gold hairpins copper weapons local pottery all these kind of artifacts were found in the tombs of Umalnar Islands okay and bronze objects just fishing hooks were also found so what do you think these kind of artifacts uh, indicate what can you conclude from the discovery of these bronze fishing hooks and all why would have the people used the fishing hooks for obviously for fishing right so uh, this these kind of artifacts show that the people were dependent on the sea for their food right they had to depend on fishing they have a depend on the sea for their living okay also in these sites um, many animal bones especially that of camels were found so from this the archaeologists have came to the conclusion that the animal the camel was very familiar even to the people of the UAE from 3000 BC even from that period of time this animal was very familiar to the people since camel bones were also found in this site okay and there were also evidences that uh, indicate the setup of copper industry in the island that was also found so it is also concluded that they had started the making of copper uh, in that period of time okay fine and there were also paintings of humans and animals we have already learned that the cavemen used to make inscriptions on the caves right about whatever they see whatever they come across they used to inscribe all those on the rocks on the caves okay so the, similarly whatever animals like the camels whatever animal they see that was inscribed on the tombs okay there were paintings of humans and animals in these tombs 